Hello everyone don't forget to support my videos and get the latest videos. A Young Souls in Search of Sexual Wisdom Welcome to my humble channel, where a wise old woman shares her teachings and reflections with you. Female pleasure is still a mystery to many. From an early age we are brought up to believe that sex is all about the enjoyment of men. But the truth is much more complex. Each woman blossoms in her own time. There's no one better than them to tell us what turns them on. You have to know how to listen with your heart as well as your ears. Understand that each body has its own singularities. What pleases one may leave another indifferent. That's why there's no substitute for a trusting dialogue between lovers. Without judgment, with mutual curiosity and a willingness to learn from each other. It is in sincere exchange that the most beautiful constructions are built. I remember an experienced girl who used to say, the best lovers are those who listen to me until they hear my silence. Indeed it is in the subtle harmony between bodies and souls that the greatest joys flourish. I also know of recent studies that have revealed surprises. Many imagine that only the clitoris provides the pinnacle of pleasure. When in fact, each erogenous zone of the female body holds its own charms. To be explored with sensitivity. Truths are often more complex than we imagine. Each human being is a mystery to be unraveled. Constantly evolving. Instead of definitive answers, what matters is that we keep our interest, curiosity and desire to learn alive. So dear friends, instead of rushing or being certain, I suggest patience, listening and paying attention to the present moment. It is the only moment that matters between two hearts that give themselves to each other. May we continue walking together towards mutual understanding with lightness and affection. The rest will come by itself. My friends, there is still a lot to explore when it comes to pleasuring a woman. Some tips can be useful, but they should never override what each partner experiences in a unique way. I remember hearing tales from experienced elders who told how the touch of a careful hand could awaken sensations never felt before. They also spoke of the magic of a kiss that slowly travels down the body, igniting in its path a fire that spreads and consumes every woman from the inside. I've witnessed girls reaching ecstasy under a lukewarm shower, with the water falling on their skin and rhythmic movements. They said it was as if waves of pleasure were rising in, falling without ceasing, leaving them gasping for breath amid chills that ran through every nerve, from the tips of their toes to their heads. I also met a wise man who recounted cases in which simple caresses and little explored areas, such as the ears, neck and back were able to take his lovers to the heights of delight. He spoke with admiration of the delicacy with which the right touch can awaken women to previously and known dimensions of pleasure. Therefore, it is in listening attentively to each other. In the discovery shared between complicit lovers, that the key to full intimacy lies. Each game of seduction is as unique as the hearts that indulge in it. May we continue to broaden our understanding of the sublime mystery. That is female pleasure. You touch on an important point. Pleasure should be something shared between equal partners with mutual consent and respect. When we connect deeply with another human being during intimacy, we have the chance to awaken wonderful sensations in them. At the same time, we expose our emotional and physical vulnerability. That's why sincere communication and taking care of each other's boundaries are essential, first and foremost. We must be attentive to the non-verbal signals that indicate comfort, 
or discomfort, stopping if we perceive any level of suffering or coercion. Real pleasure depends on the well-being of those involved, as a whole body, mind, and spirit. It flourishes when we plant the seeds of empathy, unconditional respect for others and human dignity in all its forms. We should desire for our partners the same joy, security and contemplation that we seek for ourselves. Intimacy evolves as we get to know each other deeply as spiritual beings on a journey, and not just as individuals with physical needs. When we free ourselves from selfishness and objectification, we can touch each other's deaths. But this is a path that requires continuous attention to the teachings of the heart.